thank you so much, uh, Chair. And uh, at the outset, I would like to thank uh, Kaho and Kimpro for giving me this opportunity to present to you our quality improvement project, which we did in our hospital. As you all know, safety and quality go hand in hand. And uh, for this, uh, we all know there is a huge no-do gap between what we know and what is being practiced at the ground level. And that's how we uh, took up this project. So to introduce our hospital, it's a 47-bedded multi-specialty hospital and uh, it's 60 kilometers away from Chennai in a rural area. And as you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, providing a safe obstetrica is always a challenge. And when a patient comes into the hospital, she goes through uh, admission process and into labor room and postnatal ward where uh, multiple teams work with her and there is a huge possibility of uh, multiple errors happening. So that's why we took up this uh, safe childbirth checklist, which is a four-page organized list of evidence, which has been given by WHO, and it targets the major causes of maternal deaths and uh, morbidity and mortality. So uh, though we had a good practice in our labor room, we wanted to improve our sticky practices like availability of drugs or starting uh, putting a pathograph. And so we wanted a baseline data. So this was the baseline data which we started before the start of the checklist. There were some near misses and communication errors which we set up some targets to improve it. And uh, when uh, the obstetric care process was uh, varied across the continuum, so we wanted a proper modular solution to improve the adherence. So we wanted a structured process across the labor room. And uh, we took the help of the WHO's uh, implementation guidebook and uh, where we went through these various phases of engage, launch and uh, support phase. Uh, when we started the design phase, the project was integrated into the quality improvement initiative and we got the feedback from various stakeholders. But this was during the COVID and uh, so we had to move it through the virtual mode and then we engaged with our team, with uh, obstetrician, nurses, uh, pediatricians and everyone. And then we launched it in our monthly quality meet and we got the feedback from the stakeholders and we had a support team with uh, continuous staff motivation and we had a nurse champion also. And uh, this was uh, done in two PDSA cycles. Uh, we, in the first cycle, uh, it moved from 48 to 77 percent, the adherence of the checklist. In the second cycle, the, we took the completion and timeliness, which also improved. These were the various challenges which we had, and we were able to give some solutions. We, uh, the documentation, uh, we uh, took the help of the obstetrician. And again, this was a cloning which we did. Where we implemented the same in nine different hospitals in Chennai. We took the help of CAHO, and uh, this was the first pilot study of CAHO with the Clinical Society, the Obstetrics and uh, Gynecological Society of Southern India. And they also went in with two cycles. And as you see, in the end of the uh, second cycle, it was at 94%. And this is one of the uh, PDSA cycle from one of the hospitals, where uh, they have also moved from uh, continuously, and it's been sustained. So this sustainability is very important for any quality improvement project and we were able to sustain it uh, throughout the year and even now it's nearly at 99 and 100%. And this was brought out in a publication with the Harvard University and uh, this was uh, brought out in the Journal of Health, Global Health Reports. And uh, we, this has helped us to streamline the whole process and uh, when we took the same tangible results after implementation, it was at 99%, all the misses, near misses had come down. And uh, we had various intangible results like handovers were easier, the confidence of our nurses were easier. It was, uh, it has uh, overall strengthened the hospital process. And we had some patient experience measures. We took the help of childbirth experience questionnaire and uh, together for her is uh, another questionnaire from, which checks the WHO's nine quality indicators. And to check the maternal care, we had a birth companion project happening and everywhere it was, uh, the patient satisfaction was nearly at 90%. So overall, this is a low-cost project, easy to implement and easier handovers, and it's easy to adopt and adapt. And uh, I, uh, I welcome all of you to take up all these quality improvement collaboratives so that uh, it becomes more easier to learn and share. Thank you.